السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته السيدات والسادة الكرام أهلا بكم جميعا معنا في يوم عرض المشاريع الرابع عشر للشركات الناشئة والنامية في حاضنة قطر للأعمال من برنامج ريادة الأعمال الإنسيابية وبرنامج التسريع الإنسيابي ويسعدني أنا محمود آل محمود أن أكون مقدم هذه الفعالية في حلتها الجديدة جدير بالذكر أن هذه الفعالية تنقل لكم الآن عبر البث الافتراضي وأود تذكيركم بأنه سيكون بإمكانكم العودة لمشاهدة الفعالية كاملة لاحقا عبر الموقع الرسمي ليوم عرض المشاريع مع المعلومات الكاملة عن الشركات ومع إمكانية التواصل وتنظيم اللقاءات مع المؤسسين تتميز حاضنة قطر للأعمال التابعة لبنك قطر للتنمية برسالتها الهادفة إلى تطوير وتنمية رواد الأعمال المبدعين والمبتكرين في قطر بهدف تنويع الاقتصاد الوطني والوصول إلى الكفاءة الذاتية وذلك عبر دعم وتطوير المشاريع الصغيرة والمتوسطة في مرحلة التأسيس وفي مرحلة النمو ولتكون ناجحة وقادرة على التنافس في كل الميادين يأتي يوم عرض المشاريع هذا العام تحت شعار اجعل استثمارك ذكيا مع أسرع الشركات الناشئة نموا في قطر وبدعم من أريد كشريك الاحتضان وشركاء منظومة ريادة الأعمال مركز قطر للمال ودوحة تك أنجلز ومجموعة منصور بن خليفة القابضة وشركة سنونو ليوفر لرواد الأعمال المنصة التي يحتاجونها ليعرضوا شركاتهم وخدماتهم ومنتجاتهم أمام المستثمرين ورواد الأعمال الطموحين والخبراء لتنمية وتطوير شركاتهم ولتسهل عليهم اجتياح الأسواق المحلية والعالمية يشاركنا اليوم في التعليق على عروض الشركات الناشئة والنامية مجموعة من الخبراء البارزين في منظومة ريادة الأعمال وتسريعها في قطر وهم السيد خالد عبد الله المانع المدير التنفيذي لتمويل الأعمال ببنك قطر للتنمية ورئيس لجنة الخبراء اليوم ورئيس قسم الخدمات المتميزة والابتكار ببنك قطر للتنمية السيدة عائشة راشد الخاطر والسيد مروان معروف محمود العضو المؤسس في دوحة تك أنجلز والسيد حمد مبارك الهاجري المؤسس والرئيس التنفيذي لشركة سنونو والسيد خالد حسن الحمادي مدير إدارة مبيعات الأفراد في أوريدو والسيد حمد النصر من إدارة تطوير الأعمال بمركز قطر للمال فأهلا وسهلا بكم معنا في يوم عرض المشاريع الافتراضي الثاني السيدات والسادة يشرفني أن أقدم لكم الآن كلمة بنك قطر للتنمية يلقيها عليكم السيد عبد العزيز بن ناصر آل خليفة الرئيس التنفيذي لبنك قطر للتنمية فليتفضل مشكورة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السيدات والسادة الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته اسمحوا لي بداية أن أرحب بكم جميعا في يوم عرض المشاريع الرابع عشر لحاضنة قطر الأعمال في نسخته الافتراضية الثانية وأن أتوجه بشكر خاص لشركاء هذه النسخة المميزة نلتقي بكم اليوم وبالشركات الناشئة عبر وسط الرقمي أصبح يشكل جزءا مهما من حياتنا ويسمح للجميع بالمشاركة والوصول من أي مكان يتابعوننا منه ويتيح لرواد الأعمال الوصول إلى أكبر جمهور ممكن من المستثمرين ورواد الأعمال الطموحين ليعرضوا شركاتهم وليمضوا قدما في رحلتهم نحو مستقبلهم الواعد تولي دولة قطر اهتماما منقطع النظير لريادة الأعمال والمشاريع الصغيرة والمتوسطة وتعمل على تضليل الصعوبات التي تواجههم لبناء بيئة أعمال متميزة كما نعمل أيضا في بنك قطر للتنمية على توفير البرامج المتخصصة في القطاعات ذات الأولوية في دولة قطر سواء عبر توفير الحلول الرقمية أو الصناعية أو الرياضية أو في مجال التصميم وذلك سعيا لاحتواء وتطوير كل الأفكار والشركات الواعدة نحن فخورون بأننا خلال سبع سنوات منذ انطلاقة حاضنة قطر الأعمال قمنا بتخريج ما يتجاوز 200 شركة ناشئة وأكثر من 630 رائد ورائدة أعمال يساهمون اليوم في الاقتصاد الوطني وهو الأمر الذي يصب في تحقيق أهدافنا لتطوير منظومة ريادة الأعمال في دولة قطر ولتنويع روافد الاقتصاد القطري وجعله أكثر استدامة وأكثر تنافسية على المستوى العالمي إن أحد آخر مشاريعنا في بنك قطر للتنمية هو إطلاق مسرعة الأعمال جو جلوبل لخلق شركات مصدرة منذ إطلاقهم لحثهم على التنافس والوصول للعالمية منذ نقطة الانطلاق الحضور الكريم لا شك بأننا في دولة قطر محظوظون بتوفر الموارد الطبيعية 
ولكننا أيضا محظوظون أكثر بتسخير تلك الثروات لبناء الإنسان القطري والمنظومة الداعمة للقدرات البشرية وما تشمله من تطور اجتماعي وثقافي واقتصادي وتوفير الفرص وهي تلك الفرص التي يسعى لها رواد الأعمال ضمن منظومة دعم شاملة أود أن أتقدم بالشكر الجزيل لكل الفرق العاملة في الحاضنة ولكل الشركات الناشئة وللجنة الخبراء المشاركة معنا والذين عملوا على إنجاح هذه الفعالية وإخراجها بهذه الصورة المتميزة وسنسعى في المستقبل بإذن الله أن نقدم فعاليات نوعية ومثمرة بشكل أكثر أتمنى ختاما أن تستمتعوا بمتابعة العروض الاستثمارية المميزة شكرا لكم جميعا وأتمنى التوفيق للجميع والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحضور الكريم نشكر السيد عبد العزيز بن ناصر آل خليفة المدير التنفيذي لبنك قطر للتنمية على كلمته وعلى تفاني بنك قطر للتنمية في دعم ريادة الأعمال أما الآن فيسعدني أن أترككم مع كلمة حاضنة قطر للأعمال والتي يلقيها عليكم السيد حمد بن دشن القحطاني المدير العام لحاضنة قطر للأعمال حيث سيحدثكم عن يوم عرض المشاريع لهذه السنة فليتفضل مشكورة السادة والسيدات الكرام طيب الله أوقاتكم بكل خير اسمحوا لي مرة أخرى أن أتقدم لكم بالشكر الجزيل لاهتمامكم بالحضور ولدعم ريادة الأعمال في دولة قطر والتي كما وعدناكم قدمت وستواصل تقديم الحلول المبتكرة والمستدامة والفرص الاستثمارية الجاذبة والفعالة كما أتقدم بالشكر للشركات الناشئة والنامية التي تشارك معنا اليوم والتي أبدت مرونة جبارة وقدرة ابتكارية عالية ولا أنسى طبعا أن أشكر شركائنا الذين كانوا وسيبقون الداعمين المميزين لجميع رواد الأعمال في دولة قطر يشارك معنا اليوم في يوم عرض المشاريع نخبة من الشركات التي ترشحت لبرنامجي ريادة الأعمال الانسيابية وبرنامج التسريع الانسيابي بعد أن قضوا ساعات طويلة من العمل الدؤوب على مدار الأشهر الماضية في التطوير والتحضير ستسير فعاليات يوم عرض المشاريع كالتالي تمنح كل شركة من الشركات الناشئة الاثنى عشر ثلاثة دقائق للعرض ثم تتبع بأسئلة وتعليق من لجنة الخبراء الحاضرين والذين سيكونون معهم دقيقتين للاستفسار وتحصيل الإجابة المتابعين الكرام أترككم الآن مع عريف الحفل السيد محمود المحمود لاستكمال العروض الاستثمارية للشركات نشكر السيد حمد بن دشن القحطاني المدير العام لحاضنة قطر للأعمال على كلمته وعلى شرحه لسير يوم عرض المشاريع ومرة أخرى نود تذكيركم بأنه سيكون بإمكانكم متابعة المعلومات الكاملة عن الشركات المشاركة اليوم بالإضافة إلى إمكانية تنظيم اللقاءات مع مؤسسيها عبر الموقع الرسمي ليوم عرض المشاريع من خلال الرابط الظاهر على الشاشة المتابعين الكرام نبدأ الآن على بركة الله ستكون البداية مع شركة فسرلي لمؤسستها رائدة الأعمال السيدة نوف المنصوري فلتتفضل وتفسر لنا عن مشروعها وأود الإشارة إلى أن الوقت المسموح لك هو ثلاث دقائق السلام عليكم نوف المنصوري فاوندر اوف فسرلي Mental health uh, uh, care uh, is, is difficult to access among young and adult in the MENA region, as 54% of uh, young Arab find it difficult to access quality mental health services. Um, unfortunately, 66% of them never uh, seek uh, help from professionals and uh, find it difficult to, uh, to, to speak up. We help advice seekers to solve their personal issue by offering them a platform that connects them with, with a professional consultant 24-7 with no session limitation nor scheduling required. Self-development market is a huge market uh, which contain uh, mental health, uh, positive psychology, life coaching. I certainly want to be responsible of 1% of that for the next seven years. We, uh, the most important element of our platforms is the, is the diverse services that are available covering the self-development market, the tra tra transpar uh, transparency of the review and the feedback, availability of the con uh, consultant 24-7. Because we care about our client, we secure the communication. 
We are a commission-based platform, uh, uh, depending on the bargaining with the consultant, vary from 30 to 60 percent. Since our product launch 2020, we have generated 40 $45,000 uh, in revenue, five, uh, completed 5,000 consultation. We have a registered customer from the MENA region, more than 27,000, and we proud ourselves with more than 50% of retention rate. Each customer base pays at least five uh, times with us, which is a great retention matrix. We would like to raise $250,000 uh, to generate a revenue of $250,000 in annual base. The, uh, we will allocate this fund, fund for product development, R&D, hiring, and marketing. And by next year, we will be able to have 60,000 registered users, complete 12,000 consultation, and have a revenue of $250,000. The team with versatility of expertise, myself, engineer, and uh, having uh, a leadership position now in health sector. Uh, Ayaz is uh, our new CTO. Uh, he uh, been in uh, versatility, of, versatility of experience in startup here in Qatar. And uh, Mohammed, he's our marketing, marketing expert. Invest in Festerly if you are interested of 150 million uh, US dollar. Thank you. يعطيك العافية نوف على شرحك على البرزنتيشن. ننتقل إلى لجنة الخبراء للأسئلة. My question to you is when you when you talked about the targets for the future, you mentioned 250,000 dollars. Exactly. My belief is that this number is not big enough. I think you should think about a bigger number uh, because I think the market is there and the, the, the idea is, is a great. Exactly, but. Um... Uh, inshallah, we'll target higher, uh, but we want to be realistic with the numbers comparing to the previous figures. But inshallah, we'll target more. Do you currently have any regulatory challenges? Exactly, uh, yes. Uh, the concept itself, like uh, the, the, the mental health is very sensitive area. Uh, marketing, uh, this area is also challenging because you don't want too commercial. So you have to target uh, a customer being without being uh, commercial so this is the challenge that we are uh, facing and probably the most uh, challenge that i'm facing is marketing this kind of services actually impressive business model especially in uh, our society you know, there's many exactly. people that uh, shy to walk in and they would like to go online i have just uh, I, I, in, your, in your fund uh, raising, uh, you are, you are $140,000 will go to the product development, which exactly. is good actually amount for beginning. Yes. I just have a question about your business model when it's come to uh, the consultant himself. Yes. Is it uh, live or in demand? Because for him, it's, it seems for me, it's second income for him. So maybe exactly. if you make it live business model, put the questions and the answer can come when the consultant is free. Yeah, yeah, we have as a... Uh, um, uh, a status for the consultant if it is a green that he can respond uh, oh. within 24 if it is red that he will respond when he's in in the platform yeah. okay. uh, this is flexibility business uh, business model so if he have his own clinic uh, he will work uh, after four or just in the weekend Excellent. he just can uh, highlight the status okay. all the best thank you شكرا للسيد نوف المنصوري على هذا التفسير الموجز والكافي ونشكر أيضا لجنة الخبراء ننتقل معكم الآن إلى الشركة الثانية وهي شركة ستوري ديك لمؤسسها رائد الأعمال السيد ميلينغو لوغوزار فليتفضل مشكورا Hello everyone, I'm Milenko Lugosar, the CEO of Story Deck. For the last 10 years, I worked for Al Jazeera where we built one of the world leading news TV channels. But a few years ago, I noticed that I personally spending much more time in the front of the YouTube instead of my television. And when I look to the latest content consumption trends, I noticed that I'm not alone and there's something huge happening outside of my broadcast industry. I realized that, that not only our newsroom, but everybody outside also start creating the video content. I found that more and more journalists becoming content creators 
and they are joining to the huge group of more than 30 million creators, YouTubers, vloggers, esports players, and all of them only on the YouTube. And for such a huge industry, I expect that must be they have some perfect workflows. But I found that for majority of them, workflows are completely broken, and some of them have more than five different tools to finish one single job. And with my huge experience in the broadcast industry, I just decided to help them. I quit the broadcast industry, assembled the team, and in the six months, we built the Story Deck. Story Deck is the platform where content creators coming together to collaborate, produce, and publish their stories. With our seamless tool for end-to-end -end workflow and with single user interface, their productivity can increase and their content creation business finally can grow. And instead of paying $100 for these five different fragmented tools, StoryDeck can replace all of them only for $25 per month. And during our pilots, we noticed there is around 70% of the conversion rates from the people visiting our website to the users actively searching for solution on our platform. And today, when StoryDeck Beta is live, we already start onboarding first 100 users to work closely with them to additionally validate our offerings. And of course, we are not alone in the market. But during our first marketing sprints, we asked one of the European fastest growing dev shop to additionally validate our ideas. They did research independently, but they didn't find any perfect tool for the content creators. And we already raised $55,000 in convertible notes from the Cubic, which we are using to improve our product and to get first 3,000 users. We have intention to raise additional $125,000 which we're going to use to achieve our August next year targets of 8,000 subscribers with around $200,000 monthly revenue. And our team have together more than 50 years experience in the media industry. Some of us deliver one of the most complex broadcast projects in the world. And with such a unique team, take opportunity, invest in the future of video storytelling by joining our raising. Such an amazing presentation. ننتقل إلى لجنة الخبراء. أحد عنده سؤال استفسار تفضل. It's amazing idea actually since I have a team around the world doing my post productions and I can see this is a big challenge. I have only two points. Number one, do you have any plan to make sure some contents participate teams, as example, animator can be listed there so you can select the missing part of your themes. The other part, the fund rate, especially. The, the technology you will need is big technology. You're going to need a lot of uh, investment in the infrastructure. It's going to be a lot of load on, on the platform. I believe this amount of money may be not enough to build the right platform. It will be something huge. It's, uh, media streaming overall is very complicated. Yes, I know. Uh, I'm, when I worked for Al Jazeera, I was being chief solution architect. I mean, I have quite huge experience building system like this one. And last almost like three years I spent in Al Jazeera about designing system like this one, what is possible, what is not possible. And every, all our experience, what we have from this, we put in the story deck. And story deck can have totally different technology. Just for, for example, we are using the same technology as WhatsApp. And WhatsApp, you know, that have billions of the users. We go a little bit in different direction. It means we are not worried about this stuff. And there is the two main components. There is the, you as the individual content creators, but there is the also team. Team that you can onboard other content creators, that you can collaborate in the real time, that you have chat, that you can get review and approvals, and that you can send the same video clip to the other people to, to like sponsors, to get your approval that you can publish these things on the YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and everything. So, Thani? I have a question. Uh, I just wanted to know, like, what's unique about the this platform compared to the other platforms that you know provide content creating services? And uh, if you have like a specific target audience in terms of, you know, we lack that maybe in the MENA region. And uh, basically, what's your marketing plan to that uh, yeah. platform? Uh, we are focused global. That's mean like we are really focused on these 50 million content creators right now only on the YouTube. Obviously, there is no perfect tools, and all these tools now start emerging from the problems which, which these people face. For example, lots of these content creators today using the Trello uh, Excel sheet to organize themselves. We're going to remove all these, these things and put everything on the one place, make their life much more easier. And of course, production will be much faster.
so when you say um, um, what you're selling uh, to content creators is avoid all of these expensive tools and use my tools. Uh, what I think the time is up. So what tools are you competing with? We are competing like for example right now Trello because like Trello have lots of features yeah. but content creators need probably only 5% of them. شكرا للسيد ميلينجو لوغوزار على تقديمه واما الان نتوجه الى الشركه الثالثه معنا وهي شركه سمارت شاتل لمؤسستها رائده الاعمال السيده اشفاء امين فلتتفضل Hi everyone, I am Ishfa Amin, founder of Smart Shuttle. According to a report by REN, 38% parents in Qatar are concerned for the safety of their kids. Long commute time is also another concern. Students spend two hours on the bus each day, which causes a lack of concentration in their studies. School buses are expensive and prices are fixed. On an average, a parent spends 9,000 Qatari real per child per academic year. The other drawbacks of school buses are lack of visibility and inflexible pickup location. There is a high risk of COVID infection due to large number of the students in the bus. To address these pain points, we have created a smart shuttle, a platform that connects busy parents with the trusted and weighted drivers to transport their kids to and from schools or activities. We onboard only weighted and trained drivers. Commute time with a smart shuttle is 50% less than a school bus, which means kids can sleep more and more concentration in the classroom. Our paper ride pricing is 25% less than a school bus or other private services. A real-time tracking system allows the parents to track their child and get to know when the kids are picked up and dropped off. Our door-to-door -door pickup service is a blessing for busy uh, working parents. We ensure the regular sanitization of our vehicles and monitor each ride in the real time, keeping in mind the safety of our riders. Uh, this is how our app works. Parents book a ride by giving the information of a child pickup time and location. Drivers on our platform start bidding for the ride. Driver is assigned once the payment is made. Uh, parents can track their child and get various notifications. We earn 25% revenue on build rights. We started our journey in September 2019 and completed 5,500 save rights and generated net revenue of 7,000 US dollar. We also achieved 30% uh, quarter or quarter quarter on quarter revenue growth between the fourth quarter of 2019 and first quarter of 2020. The total market size in GCC is estimated to be $4 billion and available market is $154 and obtainable market is $10 million. Uh, our revenue is projected to be $1 million by 2024 with an EBITDA of uh, 200k US dollar. Uh, we are looking to raise 140k investment by August 2021 to achieve 150k rights and generate a net revenue of 200k US dollar in next 12 months. This is our team. We are all set to revolutionize the kids' transportation space in Qatar and beyond. Interested to join our journey? Contact with us. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Ishfa Amin, for the presentation. Nantakal Ilan ila Lajnat Khabara. Hi, uh, very good idea. I mean, uh, I, I like the, the, the concept. But you know, always the big corporate, they will never let a startup to grow because they don't want anybody to get their opportunity. For example, with Kamai, for example, Uber, they, tomorrow they will come, when they see something like this happening, they will come, for example, with Uber children. So they will try to, and there is like Kareem and that, they will be very interested in those concepts and uh, to have it uh, from you. So what will be your strategy to ensure that nobody can take the projects from you? Uh, this is the first, uh, you know, uh, concept we're introducing. And right now, uh, Uber and Kareem are right now not authorized to carry the children uh, under 13 years. So we uh, give the right of five to uh, five years to uh, 17 years children we carry right now. So for in future, yes, we are looking for it. But uh, with the time, uh, inshallah, we will uh, work on it. Uh, first, it's amazing ideas, and I can see it's changing the uh, the concepts of the bus from uh, uh, school-based to location-based. So there will be a road optimization based on the location you take them to the nearby schools. The question is, don't you see this fund uh, fundraising that you do is 
too short for investing in technology since I actually develop uh, optimization software as well. It will be very expensive. Is it working now fine? Is there any challenge? Because the more uh, users you onboard, the more complicated, the more optimization, the, more, the end way of this innovation will be artificial intelligence, machine learning of optimization, optimization the roads for the students. So what did you think about it? Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, we are live now in both the store, like App I, I Store and Play Store. Right now, uh, we are focusing on our uh, team uh, for the, like we are hiring, planning to hire uh, marketing sections and CTOs and executives for uh, driver acquisition and monitor the rights. So, uh, marketing is our right now uh, big plan uh, for the uh, for uses of fund. Thank you, Shamin, for the presentation. ننتقل الآن إلى الشركة الرابعة معنا لهذا اليوم وهي شركة سايبر جي تك لمؤسسيها رواد الأعمال السيد أحمد أبو حمرة والسيد أحمد عبد الرؤوف وألفت انتباه رواد الأعمال إلى الالتزام بالوقت المحدد السلام عليكم Good day everyone My name is Ahmed Abu Hamra and with me is Ahmed Rauf, and we are the founders of Cyber D Tech. We have pioneered an innovative solution for oil and gas rigs, and we are well positioned to be a key player in the next industrial revolution. And we are here to tell you more about this exciting investment opportunity. But first, we'll give you some background. Drilling is the cornerstone of oil and gas. It's done using drilling rigs, and these are remote, hazardous, and challenging environments. The majority of operation done on these rigs are performed manually, paper-based, and prone to error. And this results to uh, operational inefficiencies, safety incidents, millions in lost assets, and general dis disorganization. There are more than one and a half thousand rigs all over the world. However, the, higher ge the highest geographical density is in our region, with more than 300 rigs in the Arabian Gulf alone. The oil and gas industry, the oil and gas industry is the least digitalized and innovative industry. However, it is one of the most lucrative markets with an average tender value of $2 million. Ahmed? The CyberG Tech team all work in this industry. We are all also entrepreneurs and are an optimum mixture of oil and gas engineering, business and technology backgrounds. We solved our problems. We have personally faced these problems. We solved them by developing a digital rig solution. This solution is linked to physical assets via an RFID and scanner setup and organizes all the key parameters of a rig operation onto a concise digital dashboard, resulting in faster information retrieval and more organized rig operations. Optimum use of this can result in savings of up to $5 million per rig per year, save more than a thousand man hours and result in operations that are safer and more efficient by up to 20%. All of this is done in a local, bespoke and cost-effective framework. Our revenue model is a lucrative combination of software as a service combined with traditional hardware trading, adding up to $800,000 uh, in revenue per rig per year. This is recurrent due to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of rig operations. Our second MVP, based on field uh, and industry input, is ready for a field pilot by the end of this year, followed by a steady increase, inshallah, in predicted revenue as we capture the local market. The collaborative nature of our contract with drillers, who are also our channel partners, allows us to target explosive growth in the region following the local market. We're asking for $150,000 in funding to implement this field trial and to also secure tenders in related areas. We aim to double this in revenue by the end of next year. This is a globally documented and predicted phenomenon about the inevitable merger between the energy and technology industries. It is one of the most lucrative market opportunities of the decade and has a plethora of opportunities. We aim to be a key player in this revolution. Book a meeting with us today to, be to become a part of the next industrial revolution. Thank you. Exactly at the time, I'll take a look Ahmed Ahmed on the presentation. We'll move on to the news, Khalid. Very good the whole, uh, presentation, guys. But also, as you mentioned, the oil and gas is the list how you will be able to convince or to enter this closed area of business okay so there are two sides of this uh, of this question basically first of all there is the 4.0 oil and gas revolution that is coming it is on the way some of the some of the contracting companies or the service companies are already fully digitalized 
but the rigs themselves are yet to be to follow them. It will happen eventually, and we are here to basically ride the wave and be uh, and be able to provide that service for them. And yeah. contractually speaking, there's a high barrier to entry. You're exactly right. So what we did was to stand on the shoulders of giants, such as using drilling uh, companies who are already in the field and doing the drilling and we make them our channel partners. So we make a collaborative contract with these guys who own the rigs and we develop the solution customized for them locally. So it's cheaper and it allows us to overcome the high barrier of entry to the oil companies. Good. Actually, it's a very good idea, especially from young guys came from the same field. I came from the same field as well. Uh, the first question is uh, the partnership is very important for your middle. Did you consider any partnership with uh, Schlumberger or uh, GDI? Gulf Drilling uh, International. Yeah, and number two, did you consider, as you are going to uh, the fourth revolutions, did you consider partnership with Honeywell or all this, uh, or emphasis or all these companies that manage, you know, the whole system of the oil and gas? Yeah, so oil and gas 4.0, as you know, it's just so many opportunities. So we have identified a list of key partners that we would want to work with uh, since uh, after we're legal and we can you know, pursue them on a company to company corporate basis. Uh, partnerships with GDI is the key partnership that we need to make a collaborative contract. Um, post that, and inshallah, after our marketing sprints and we see, uh, get input from our field pilots, that's the way forward depending on how we proceed with the oil companies. Because uh, until we do it, we will not get feedback. And until we don't get feedback, we do not know which way to proceed with which partner. My question is about you guys. Are you dedicated for this or are you working part-time? We are currently part-time, but two of us are willing to become full-time. As soon as we're legal and we can, you know, oh, because it. the non-Qatari partners will transfer and will give it their all. Uh, we're, we're, we're willing to do it personally. Even if we don't get funding, we will do this one way or another. Assalamu alaikum. My Ahmed Abu Hamra from Cybergy. اليوم خدمة تجربة جدا مميزة عرضنا مشروعنا لمدة ثلاث دقائق قدام اللجنة والحمد لله كانت تجربة جدا موفقة تمنى التوفيق لنفسنا والباقي المشاريع والزملاء الآخرين. السلام عليكم. This is Ahmed from CyberG. We really enjoyed pitching our idea and sharing our progress with the panel of investors and judges at the demo day today. We have already started booking meetings and look forward to sharing our progress with potential investors. وتستمر رحلتنا اليوم مع الشركة الخامسة ومشروع فاستري لمؤسسه رائد الأعمال السيد إيهاب نجيب فليتفضل السلام عليكم أنا إيهاب the founder of Vastri in GCC region many SMEs face a challenging transferring their business digitally the hardship of digitizing their business it's resource intensive to manage their own stores and of course in terms of money and time and planning ahead their growth is also intensive. We built the Vestry to offer them what they need, the convenience in listing. In a few seconds, you can enlist your products, the ease of marketing to reach more customers, streamline logistics to facilitate your process and operations, and of course, streamline reportability. And for their customers, we built a three clicks the checkout process. We took our assumption and we went to the market. We got a couple of times punched in the face, but we managed to onboard nine vendors with top 450 products in Qatar. And an average 150 ad campaign we already launched. And with the average 700 real card size, we managed to get 600,000 Qatar real in transactional volume. Increasing their profit an average 40%. Our revenue model based on commission per, per transaction, we have also featured the listing and the premium accounts. An estimate of 80 billion reals Qatari market, we are planning in three years to acquire 15 million reals in transactional sales. For the first year will be 2 million, second year 5 million, and hopefully by the end of third year of 15 million. For a year we bootstrap. We managed to bootstrap. In December 2020, we granted a ticket with 100,000 reals from Cupic, and now we are going for round two. For 600,000 reals, will be used in software development, marketing, and onboarding the new team members. 
our milestones for the next year is to launching our beta ver uh, version one of the software, mobile app, onboarding 50 vendors, and achieving 3,000 orders. This is the team behind Vestry. This is a success with over 50 years of man experience in product management, software management, operations, and marketing. Success is a journey, not a destination. Join ours in Vista Advestry. Thank you. 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 Thank we our, our research showed that there is like a, a certain areas that's not covered for example the luxury sports everyone looking for it and it's not covered online even the car spare parts i have this problem personally trying to find a spare part for my toyota car which is very common in, but online it's not there you cannot even search it. maybe it's there but you, I, it, the reach itself the seo is not there yeah. okay so when you go to offline retailer asking him to add his his stuff online from any other competitor okay then the customers the regular customer cannot reach him because they don't consider for example the seo or something like this we give him this we give him the reach give him the ace of marketing give him the tools that needed to link between this niche market and the customers that's what we trigger you have uh, as well thank you for the presentation very thank you. nice thank you uh, and lots of energy so thank you for that thank you. but the question that i have is that there are many solutions today. Yes. Um, and one of the solutions that came up to mind with your presentation was uh, Shopify. Today, it's very easy for uh, people that want to get on the e-commerce or on the website to go to Shopify. It's not as difficult as it was before. And there are many others like Shopify. So do you see that, first of all, as a threat, number one? And if the answer is yes, how do you position yourself to overcome this? Okay, I see it as opportunity. To have your own store, a physical store, and you wanna go online, if you are in the medium size or SME, managing your own store, it's very uh, resource intensive for you. Getting the right people doing your stuff, the transaction volume might be not good for you to cover your expenses and so. Getting a, a platform like Shopify, WooCommerce, whatever like this, okay? And it's not your field of operation, may be like an exit point for this. We did our researches, we saw this, we, we interviewed a couple of, um, of merchants and vendors about this. But we see it as opportunity. Okay, go, let's try and try our platform and choose the best. Either we learn from you or we, you learn from us. But we see it from ourselves, from our side, it's like a kind of development plan for ourselves. It's a kind of free research and development results we get from the vendors and from other platforms and competition. We always believe that competition is good. But no, we don't we don't see it as a threat. Shukran li Sayyid Ihab Najib ala aadhihi al-mujaz wa ala iltizamhi bil waqt. Wa nantakil al-aan ila sharika al-sadisa ma'ana fi hadha al-yom wa hiya sharika kafayin. Li muassisatiha raidat al-amal al-sayyida latifa al-amri. Tawakka amahtajin ahna baad shwayat kafayin. بعد هذه البرزنتيشن كافي نو ذات باد كوفي داي مين باد كوفي اكسبيرينس فور ذا كوفي لافر سو وي ونت تو ذا ماركت اند وي نوتس ذات 50% اوف ذا كوفي شوب ات نوت نوت هابي وذ ذا monopoly in the market where most of the companies paying attention to food delivery than coffee delivery. So they're losing their customer due to mishandling of coffee delivery. And 30% of the suppliers losing their customer due to the overwhelmed existing platform. And for the coffee lover, there are no single platform that they can order everything related to coffee uh, from it. So they have bad coffee experience. So my name is Latifa. I am the founder and CEO of Caffeine, the coffee hub. So this is the platform. Caffeine is a commission-based platform that serves as a one hub for coffee. Uh, we serve as a channel between coffee shop, roasteries, and uh, suppliers to, to get exposure so that consumer have a hassle-free coffee experience. Our second MVP is live since uh, March 2021 with the 12 vendors on board, seven in the pipeline, and we invested 1K in the sprint of the market with 60 uh, plus uh, customers, 10 orders, and 300 uh, as a revenue, and our customer acquisition 
cost is 3 real. We expected to have a 12k revenue monthly with 160k for 2022 and 10% growth monthly with the gradually increasing in 2023 and onward. The coffee um, market in Doha is huge. It's expected to have 2.4 million in 2026, with more than 500 more uh, cafe to enter the market. Caffeine won 15% uh, of that market. We place ourselves slightly higher, higher than our uh, competitor in the market when it comes to the uniqueness and specialization. And then we, ha we have uh, a channel to match between vendors and suppliers. So this is our roadmap. So now we are raising fund and we are still doing our customer acquisition, customer ret retention and MB second, third MVB. And in, we introduce a new services later in uh, next year. This is the team, myself, Ekta, the CMO, and Kenny's is the customer service. We invested 150K in, the, in caffeine and committed 200K from Quebec and, and 150K in kind. And we are raising 250 to reach 5,000 customer uh, uh, orders uh, by 2022, 100 vendors on board, 160 uh, real as a revenue in 2022, and 10% uh, uh, growth uh, monthly. The fund will be used at 30% as a key hire, 40% customer acquisition, and 30% product development. Invest in caffeine, and you will not have a bad coffee experience again. <laughs> انتقل الى لجنه الخبراء يعطيك العافيه بس عندي ملاحظه الكوميشن 10% فروم 10% تو اب تو 25 ات ديبندس اون ذا فيندر سو سم اوف ذيم وي تيك 10% اند سم سم اوف ذيم اف ذي هاف ماشينز اند تولز وي تيك ا هاير بيرسنتج اوكي ماي ريكومنديشن اف يو فوكس ان ذا بي تو بي big market in B2B, especially there is big problem for the coffee owners. Now the price of the coffee is very expensive. So the, the B2B platform can actually group up all this quantity and start reducing their cost. Uh, but B2C should be a big challenge. Yes, I agree with you. And our, uh, our vision in the future, we, we will be focusing in B2B. Uh, I have a question in terms of the uh, service itself. So if you're approach you in B2C uh, and you have a very mashallah, specialized service كيف انا ممكن القهوه توصلني غير عن القهوه من سيرفيس بروفايدر ثاني this high can equip challenge for us احنا uh, حاليا احنا قاعد نحاول قد ما نقدر اللي يوصلون طلبات عندنا وي ميك شور ذات ذا كوفي مثل ما خذوها من الكوفي شوب توصل للزبون ان احنا مره ثانيه بعد نفس حق الزبون نشيك ايفري ثينك جود الكوفي حار كل شيء تمام شكرا لك لطيفه بالتوفيق ان شاء الله okay. وايضا اشكر لجنه الخبراء على هذه الاسئله السلام عليكم اسمي لطيفة صاحبة مشروع كافيين اليوم الصراحة استمتعت في عرض المشاريع عرضت مشروعي على الخبراء أسئلتهم كانت حلوة في صلب الموضوع عشان يفهمون أكثر عن المشروع واستمتعت اليوم بعرض مشروعي وعرض مشروع زملائي الحضور الكريم نكمل معكم فعاليات يوم عرض المشاريع والذي يعد منصة لتقديم الفرص الاستثمارية في الشركات الناشئة والنامية إلى جمهور المستثمرين الملائكيين ورواد الأعمال الطموحين وأود تذكيركم أنه سيكون بإمكانكم الاطلاع على المعلومات الكاملة عن الشركات ومشاهدة عروضها وإمكانيات تنظيم اللقاءات مع مؤسسيها عبر الموقع الرسمي ليوم عرض المشاريع عبر الرابط الظاهر على الشاشة نستكمل معكم الآن الفترة الثانية لعرض المشاريع ونبدأ مع الشركة السابعة وهي شركة ستوب أوفر للسياحة لمؤسسها رائد الأعمال السيد بيكا ماكنن فليتفضل I'm Pekka Mackinen, the founder of Stopover. Stopover is a reliable one-stop shop to book quality activities in Qatar. Today, people don't find uh, book and pay. It's not possible online. We are solving the problem. The offerings are scattered, fragmented, and not available online or mobile. We can solve the problem. Uh, a lot of money is left on the table and our solution is timing and good. The current crisis, uh, it's a great opportunity for us and companies seek cooperation 
on digital level. We offer an excellent mobile first experience and interaction with the companies. Our segmentation is clear. We have four main segments. We serve the B2B and B2C segments, uh, and we have different models of uh, subscription and commission levels. Qatar Sopover has a lot of and huge potential, and money left on the table is considerable. This is our estimate for our market share value. Uh, our recent marketing sprints uh, confirm that we are on the right track. The customer acquisition cost is right, the, the profit, we, the margin we get is right, and, and, and the average purchase is correct. We aim for 200,000 revenue, 200,000 revenue um, for 2020 and 50% beyond years from that. Uh, we enter a market with competition, competitors who have very little touch points locally. But they also are distribution partners in the global market. I'm very proud of my team. Uh, I have learned through the business that you need to have a best business controller, intelligent CTO and people who work for you who really know the market and suppliers. This is what we have. Our milestones are clear, planning 2020, 20, crisis years, but 22 shows to be recovering well. We are very proud of our current agreements with suppliers and we, we continue with this. Our technology is tested. We have solutions that can scale. Uh, so we are very, and this distribution partners support our doings. We have invested until date 120,000 US dollars. We are in progress with Cubic for additional investment we seek an investor for 500,000 US dollars to finalize our market fit in Qatar. The funding will be spent as presented. Contact us, book a meeting with us. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much for the presentation. And we will move to the news Thank you for the presentation. I mean, uh, the concept is really good. Now, uh, you mentioned that there are 2 million uh, uh, tourists that come to Doha and out of them, I can like give a rough, it, it's half, more than half are Arabic speaking. So does your uh, platform allow for the Arabic language? Well, the system uh, supports other languages, 12 okay. languages. Okay, that's uh, the we, we avoid to use the word tourism. Okay. Because the motives, but it's, it's good, but the motives are so different. You might be here as a conference delegate, or you might be visiting your business partners or friends. So motives are very different. And the average international spending, excluding hotel and travel, is 500 US dollars per day. So you can imagine the, the money left on the table with these numbers. And we, the, the time was out, but I was uh, presenting an investment of 500,000 US dollars to finalize the market fit in Qatar. We have a very good team. I'm skilled, uh, my uh, skilled team to, to execute. It's an excellent uh, business model. Uh, I just have uh, two questions. Number one about the co-founders. I mean, what their background and is it related to the business model? Is number one and about the technology because usually this uh, consumer-based uh, product, it's you need to invest a lot in UI, UX. The user experience sh should be there and help them to decide. The, the platform should be very friendly for, for them to decide what activity they want to do. I'm uh, the co-founders and my team. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have a CTO who has made and supervised the production of almost 3000 applications. And he's really on top of the technology, how to do it. And we are not doing an application. It's open web solution application like, yes, but easier to use. And uh, this is basically, uh, and, and our founders, we are very all committed to, to what we are doing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Becker, for the presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you very much. I'm luck. available for more questions if you have. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. نشكر السيد بكا ماكنن على العرض الشيق والذي جعلني أرغب في استخدام تطبيقه ولكن ننوه لجميع المشاركين الالتزام بالوقت. My name is Pekka Mäkinen. I'm a founder of Stopover. The demo day today 
was a, quite an interesting experience, and, but pleasant one. I felt that the, the coaching that was done uh, months before this day was really supporting you to understand your own business. And the consultants and advisors who were listening to our pit pitches uh, were really present and interested in what we were doing. So I must say that this was a world-class event and, and recommend to everybody. ننتقل الآن إلى الشركة الثامنة وهي شركة i for build لمؤسسيها رواد الأعمال السيد مصطفى قنديل والسيد يوسف المنصوري فليتفضلوا I'm Yusuf Mansouri, co-founder of i for build One may ask why a new ERP system we offer it, uh, we offer a solution for small businesses. Uh, the opportunity arised from uh, finding that SMEs are undersourced and whatever available in the market is not enough to do what they have to do. So we thought that, you know, we get in the market and offer them an affordable solution and easy to take off the shelf. We have validated our solution by developing a solution for the construction sector and the validation was for the past two years where they have achieved an increase of revenue by 20% and 35% savings in resources and softwares. We built a comprehensive, affordable, easy to adapt, customizable ARB solution that can streamline processes, ease access to information, increase productivity and maximize efficiency. We cover the general business need like CRM, sales, purchase, accounting, HR and payroll and e-commerce with a modular package for healthcare sector, with out-of-the-box integration ready. Our subscription starts from $35 per month per user and goes up to 1,000 yearly contracts for businesses. We have accumulated a revenue up to this date of 60,000 US dollars, 25% growth month to month, and a recurring payment of 45,000 per month. Our target by the end of this year is to achieve 160,000 US dollars. The total addressable market is uh, around the 49 uh, billion dollar uh, globally. Our founding team has the right experience for this project. Uh, Yusuf Mansouri was uh, experienced in sales and procurement. Mustafa have experience in uh, technical background and uh, project management. And we have Hajar who is, has experience in customer relationship management. With five developers and a tech team, UI, UX, and one financial consultant as an on-demand team. We raised $30,000 from Kiepec in mid of 2019, and we are raising today $300,000 as a 18-month runway to achieve $1 million of revenue. We uh, invest with us in the new ARB system for SMEs. We would love to have a meeting with with you guys. Thank you so much for coming with us. Thank you, Mustafa. Thank you. Thank you very much. يعطيكم العافية أخو يوسف مصطفى على ال presentations. ننتقل إلى لجنة الخبراء. السلام عليكم. يعطيكم العافية. My question has to do with the intellectual property that you have developed. Does it use an existing ERP platform like Odo, or are you? You completely built it from scratch and you own it 100%. We was bootstrapping for the last two years. Okay, we start with uh, our, our our way of developing the solution that's uh, mixed between open source technology, which is already implemented on the market, and we built over it uh, for uh, niche specific industries like the healthcare sector. We built our own uh, API library to be uh, ready like uh, integration ready with other solutions like other systems like mobile apps and uh, etc. Uh, we have also implemented like uh, a couple of mobile applications for a couple of our customers and uh, we are trying to achieve that we have a turnkey solution for SMEs, for specific niche-specific niche businesses like healthcare and uh, we will move on to construction once we have uh, the, uh, the, the right uh, customers who can uh, pay for the development for, uh, for their construction. Any more questions? questions? I have a question about the, the competition because um, ERP solutions that's more uh, that we see is something that comes from outside and perhaps yep. you know labeled uh, locally. 
uh, I think what you guys are doing, you're trying to develop something local. And affordable also for uh, the customers, especially yeah. for the SMEs. You know, SMEs, uh, whatever is available in the market, it's too complicated and expensive for them to adopt. So our solution is affordable, easy to take off the shelf and implement as quickly as possible with, with many advantages. For example, the gateway is, uh, uh, is built in there where you have to pay for it uh, if you uh, uh, apply for a gateway for ERP. Who would be the competition for? For SMEs, for SMEs they have, uh, we have a competitor, Udo, for example, like it's uh, from Belgium and uh, they are good with the standard uh, like uh, general business needs but it needs a lot of customization and it's very expensive also for customizing and it's very hard to uh, maintain okay and there's that, that, that also the cost is a little bit high if you're talking about the initial cost is low but by time you have to invest a lot of money to to make your so that's why we are trying we have our unique selling point is the the niche specific uh, modules that we have so for, for healthcare, healthcare, for example, we built a huge system for healthcare. It covered it cover like 90% of the healthcare uh, needs or uh, the business aspects of, of the healthcare. In Qatar? In Qatar, yes. yeah. And we are supporting like... Do you uh, have customers outside of Qatar? Uh, we start a partnership agreements with uh, two, two entities in Egypt and, uh, and uh, in Tunisia. Okay. Customers? Uh, they are onboarding us like one of them is an outsourcing company for uh, HR outsourcing company. They are importing like 10 companies. They are managing a business for 10 different companies. And because of the COVID, they have to send employees to their uh, offices to audit, to make uh, the, the work. So it's, it's because of that, it's easier for them to manage all the companies from one system from, uh, and our subscription would be part of the agreement between this firms and these companies. We also partnering with a uh, accounting firm uh, for the same reason. Thank you. يعطيكم العافية شكرا على البرزنتيشن وننتقل الآن إلى شركة تاسعة معنا في هذا اليوم وهي شركة The Real State CRM لمؤسسها رائد الأعمال السيد سعد أحمد شريف فليتفضل في عرض شركته ضمن الوقت المسموع السلام عليكم أجين Hi, uh, this is Saad Ahmed Sharif, the founder and the CEO of The Real State CRM Currently in the market, there are multiple fragmented systems available uh, to market, sell and maintain uh, the inventory of real estate companies. Our solution is we are a cloud-based platform that streamlines the process of selling and maintaining from the finance and facility of the inventory of the real estate companies. We help them in increasing their revenues. And how do we do that? Right? We capture lead from multiple sources like website, social media and mobile app. And that gets added into our CRM system. And then the lead conversion happens with these smart follow-up systems. So you don't have a manual process to follow up with the leads, right? And then we increase operational efficiencies through end-to-end uh, -end 360 tenant management with the post-dated check management, security deposit. That also moves to the facility management if there's any plumbing electrical issues. Our platform is integrable with Oracle, SAP, and Microsoft Dynamics 365. We are already available on Play Store, Web Store, and also on Apple Business Messaging. Our business model is a typical SaaS uh, subscription model wherein we charge as an average of $16,000 as average yearly licensing fee with $5,000 is again an average of one-time implementation charge and 25% as licensing fee goes into the AMC that is the annual maintenance contract. Now if we come about the market validation we are about 11,000 uh, annual recurring revenue with 90 properties already onboarded and in the month of May alone, we request, uh, we got a request of about from the 18 companies for the demo. We have deals of about $350,000 already in the pipeline. We have talked to, we have spoken to, we are in talks with uh, the leading property management companies uh, like Retaj, uh, an economic group and Earth Real Estate. Our projections are about $600,000 uh, by 2023. That's in Qatar alone. The opportunity is massive uh, in the PropTech sector with uh, about $2.1 billion total addressable market only in the Qatar alone and obtainable market of about $825 million. Yes, this increases as th there is more construction happens, the market increases. We are seeking about $125,000. Uh, that would give us a runway of 18 months and the majority of it will go into the hiring sales team in Qatar. That is about 40%. And 10% will go in the product uh, growth and about 20 to 30% will go in the marketing. This is the team, uh, that is me with 12 years of experience. I have worked for Dell. Uh, I have been a product guy building applications. I've worked as software architect and IT manager. 
that's my team they have been with me for about at an average of 3 years uh, abdul khayyum is with me for about like 4 years 6 years of experience nawaz daud you can see we are all the majority is the tech team that we have and uh, i would love to have you guys on this amazing journey massive opportunity of prop tech thank you again <coughs> thank you saad for the presentation ننتقل الى لجنه الخبراء للاسئله Uh, first, uh, it's a really amazing business model. I think there is need in the market, and okay. there is now a lot of CRM. But are you uh, planning to build the CRM as to be easy to install, and you know, with right. SEO, everyone can download it, use it anywhere in the right. world? So our model is totally cloud-based model, wherein you can go to our website, there CRM.com, sign up, log in, make the payment. When it comes to the integration part, that's where the companies, what we have faced, is they want to have it on house, in house, on their data centers. so we deploy some modules uh, of the but the logic will be on the cloud like no that is not on premise but yes if you want modules that is available on premise you know most crm systems promise the world right. but they are as good as the team that is implementing right true so i've seen you have you have a really good team are these people part of your company for retention purposes or are you just hiring them as employees they are with me for like about as i said average of 4 years with me and uh, they have been cultivated and grown in our company so they have been with us for a very long time as partners or as employees as as, as employees as, as full time paid employees uh, i have a question like what was the experience of the real estate companies that you've mentioned in the presentation with regards to them yeah with the guys of using the service of the yeah. ecr so the point is the situation uh, right now is the, as i'm like you auction that this is the need of the market so that's the reason in the b2b space getting a demo from the company itself was a big opportunity for us so when we go there and explain that's where we saw the need that we need a sales of the business development guy we are all the technical team that's where inshallah your investments would help us grow okay we'll talk about the end of the lesson thank you sir for the presentation and wish you all the best ونستكمل رحلتنا مع الشركة العاشرة شركة سبيرتس لمؤسسيها رواد الأعمال السيد إكرامي راشد والسيد حمد السيد فليتفضلوا السلام عليكم حمد السيد سي أو كرامي راشد سي تي أو في حالة إعطال السيارات من الحوادث يواجه أصحاب السيارات مجموعة من المشاكل من ضمنها ارتفاع في أسعار قطع غيار السيارات بالإضافة إلى معاناة في البحث وجمع قطع غيار السيارات كذلك يواجهون صعوبة في الحصول على قراجات ذات الجودة وسعر مناسب أما بالنسبة للموردين قطع غيار السيارات كذلك يواجهون مشاكل في في انخفاض في المبيعات في الثلاث سنوات الأخيرة بنسبة 30-40% كذلك صعوبة في الترويج عن قطع غيار الأكثر استهلاكا وسهلة البيع مع إدارة المخزون الحل هو متجر سبيرتس هو تطبيق متخصص في بيع قطع غيار السيارات واصلاح الحوادث يقوم بربط اصحاب السيارات مع الموردين اما من ناحيه التقنيه لو اخذنا الحادث كمثال بصفته انه هو بيجمع معظم السيرفيسز او الخدمات اللي بتقدم عبر تطبيق سبيرتس فيقدر صاحب السياره بسهوله جدا يصور السياره بتاعته وبعد كده يختار مكان الحادث بس بيعرض عليه التطبيق القطع المحتمل تضررها في المكان اللي هو اختاره يختار من بينها القطع المتضررة من وجهة نظره وبعد كده بيعمل سبميت هنا بيقوم الابليكيشن بحاجتين بيبعت الحادث لكل الجراشات اللي ريجيسترد عندنا في الابليكيشن وكمان بيبعت القطع المتضررة لأصحاب محلات قطع الغيار بعد كده لما بيختار الجراش بيتم التواصل معاه وبعد كده بيتم نقل السيارة للجراش المطلوب والدليفري بيجمع قطع الغيار من الأماكن وبعد كده بيروح يوديها للجراج التصليح وبعد كده بيتم عمليه تسليم السياره. نموذج العمل بتاعنا بيقوم على 500 ريال اشتراك شهري بالاضافه ل 10% من كل ترانزاكشن مكتمل على التطبيق. في 2020 احنا استثمرنا 100,000 دولار وعملنا الام في 1. في 2021 احنا دخلنا حاضنه قطر الاعمال وعملنا ريز ب 70,000 دولار. وبنينا الام في 2 ووصلنا تقريبا الى 95% وان شاء الله هنعمل لانشنج في شهر اغسطس المقبل باذن الله وعملنا الفاليديشن للتطبيق اوريدي وعملنا 41 اوردر 19000 ترانزاكشن فوليوم و3.5 كي واحنا دلوقتي بنعمل ريزنج بقيمه 70000 دولار عشان نوصل ل 1500 يوزر اكتف و4000 اوردر بقيمه ريفينيوز 200000 دولار 
احنا بنتوقع ان شاء الله في نهايه 2022 نوصل الى 500 ار... 500 اوردر بالشهر بقيمه ريفينيو 27000 دولار. حجم سوق قطع غيار السيارات في دوله قطر 4 مليار ونص. احنا راح نحصل على المبلغ من الجوله الاستثماريه راح يكون نستخدم المبلغ في 20% في التطوير. 40% في في الاعضاء الفريق بالاضافه الى 30% ماركتن و10% راح يكون احتياطي. اعضاء الفريق حمد السيد، اكرامي راشد، محمود الادغم واحنا مستعدين المهتمين في المشاركه في الجوله الاستثماريه مستعدين لاي اجتماع. شكرا. يعطيكم العافيه على البرزنتيشن، ننتقل الى لجنه الخبراء. يعطيكم العافيه، فكره جدا جيدة وسلسة وراح تخدم شريحة كبيرة بالناس بس هل هذه الفكرة موجودة جلوبالي يعني في أي مكان ولا هذه بتكون يونيك أنتم كستارت أب لا لا هي م... هي إحنا غير عن اللي موجودين بالسوق حاليا إحنا فكرتنا أكبر من اللي في السوق اللي في السوق فكرتهم بس إن نزل العر... القطع القطعة عرضها وانتظر رد من المورد إحنا راح نكون متجر بمجرد ما تبحث عن القطعة بتلقاها موجودة بالإضافة إلى أن إذا سويت حادث ترفع الصورة بعد ما ترفع الصورة توصل الصورة حق الجراجات وفي نفس الوقت توصل حق محلات قطع غيار السيارات أصحاب الجراجات بتوصل القطعة حق أصحاب الجراجات يقيمونها وفي النهاية بتوصل حق المستخدم نفسه يعني بيكون عنده عرض سعر يعطيكم العافية فكرة جدا مميزة وأعتقد السوق يحتاجها لكن أنا بتكلم من وجهة نظر خبرة العميل إيش الأشياء اللي بيحصل عليه العميل على سبيل المثال يعني أفكار سريعة هل بيكون في برنامج ضمان يعني عنده مثلا محفظة يشوف الأشياء اللي شراها وهذه كلها لها سنة ضمان إيش الأشياء أو المميزات اللي بيحصل عليه العميل بعيدا عن ترانزكشن مثلا المحفظة ضمان العملية ضمان ترانزكشن لمدة سنة إيش الأشياء ممكن تحصل عليه هو أهم حاجة اللي إحنا بوفر الأبلكيشن هو السعر والافيلابيلتي تمام والمعاناه اللي بي... اللي بيجيبها عشان يجمع قطع الغيار بتاعته من اكثر من مكان في عاد... في حال عدم توفرها في المكان اللي هو عايزه ده رقم واحد رقم اثنين الشيء الثاني الضمان بيكون ضمان المحل ضمان البروفايدر نفسه هو نفس الضمان اللي بيعرضه هو نفس الضمان اللي بيعرضه وطبقا للقوانين المتبعه في دوله قطر الضمان مثلا لمده سنه اللي هي بتفرضها اصلا الجهات المسؤوله عنها يعني الابلكيشن مش هيكون مسؤول عن الضمان انتوا ذكرتوا تبون 70 الف دولار تارجت نعم. ايش بتستخدمونها فيه؟ بنستخدم في الديفلوبمنت لان اصلا اداره او او عمل ابلكيشن بالشكل ده في الباك اند بتاعته الفرونت اند بيتكلف يعني بيحتاج يعني احنا فريق العمل بتاعنا مكون من ثمان اشخاص دلوقتي حاليا شغالين في السوفت وير ديفلوبمنت بالاضافه الى ان هيكون عندنا اوبريشن على ارض الواقع فهتحتاج موظفين اكثر من الابلكيشن العاديين لان عندنا عمليه التوصيل خصوصا ان عمليه التوصيل عندنا مختلفه عن عمليه التوصيل العاديه لان انت عندك تجميع من اكثر من مكان بالاضافه للتحدي بتاع حجم القطعه وسيله الوسيله المستخدمه في النقل فدي كلها عوامل المفروض تدار الكترونيا من قبل التطبيق. شكرا شكرا يعطيكم العافيه شكرا نشكر السيد اكرامي راشد والسيد حمد السيد على عرضهما نذهب الان الى الشركه الحادية عشر وشركه سوق تي لمؤسستها رائده الاعمال السيده اريان جبير فلتتفضل My name is Ariane and I'm the founder of Sukti. Sukti empowers our users to turn their fashion items into cash. So I want you guys to meet Sarah. She really loves luxury brands and though she's working, she's unable to afford the item that she really would love to have. So she spends hours on social media, on website, looking for good offers or even good deals on secondhand items. In the end, she's not sure if the items is real or if it's fake, so she never ends up buying anything and is, less, is left disappointed. Now meet Fatma. Over the years, she's accumulated loads of items. However, she realizes that she doesn't use all of them. In fact, her tastes have changed and she would love to find a solution to declutter her closet while making money to buy things that she actually likes. She too looks for a solution. However, she doesn't find a local, affordable solution with professional customer service. She is then left with a wardrobe that's out of control. And Fatma is not alone. It was a value that last year wasted fashion items were 640 billion worldwide. Meanwhile, the fashion resale market in the Gulf was valued at 1.6 billion. So here comes Sukti. We are a trusted, sustainable peer-to-peer -peer marketplace that allows luxury lovers to buy and sell pre-love fashion. It's very easy. 
Fatma lists her items in less than a minute. Sarah sees it, she loves it, so she makes an offer. Fatma accepts. So we then pick up the item, we authenticate the items, and we then deliver it to Sarah. Fatma receives her money within 24 hours, and we take a commission that varies between 10 and 17 and a half percent. Since February, we launched our MVP, and we've bootstrapped completely. So through a very few marketing sprints, we managed to get 500 items on the platform. We closed four and a half thousand dollars through 50 transactions, and our month on month growth for our first quarter operating was 68%. So today, I'm asking for $127,000. 27 is already secured. This will help us reach 200 transactions by the end of this year. We then want to join LAP next year, raise another 100K to bring us to our target of 530K by May 2023. The fashion resale market is really exciting right now with big players like Depop, for example, that were bought for 1.6 billion a few weeks ago. However, there is no dedicated marketplace in the region and Sukti believes that by 2024, we can take a 15% bite of this market. So I invite you to invest in our team. We have 15 years of combined experience in marketing and design and fashion and sustainability has been our focus from the beginning. So help us in revolutionizing the fashion industry, invest in Sukti. Thank you. Thank you, Ariane, for Thanks. the presentation. Have any of you done implementations of startups? Well, this is your first. No, I had small businesses before. Actually, since uh, maybe I was 14, I've been buying and selling clothes online. This has always been part of my life, but I've never actually had a startup before. No. I have a question regarding uh, if you're planning to do like because I know that there's a lot of Instagram accounts who do these type of things. Are you going to plan to maybe expand a little bit in terms of not really selling and buying from individuals and getting those, uh, you know, companies to actually get their, um, you know, name or store in your application? This is something we already started to do because a lot of these businesses are not legal. So what we're offering them is an actual online legal platform onto which they can operate. Another thing we're doing as well is most of them are focused on luxury. I'm actually wanting to expand in different segments, like in Depop, for example, with a lower end, not only luxury. So this is something also that will differentiate us compared to these guys. So um, how do you tackle customer protection? Let's say I bought something and now my money is in this platform. How do you uh, ensure there's a consumer protection side like refunds or in case of damaged goods or, or counterfeit? Or so I actually, this was one of my main concern in the beginning. So I consulted about this. What I was told is that, especially for secondhand goods, so once somebody receives the item, we then gave them, this is our terms and condition, we gave them 24 hours to retract because it's secondhand, we can't give them the same guarantee as if it's like a new, a new item. But this is definitely something I have to do more research about as well in terms of dirt protection. Okay, Thank you. time is up. Uh, Thank you, Ariane, Thank for you. the presentation. Thank Wish you all the guys. luck. Good afternoon. My name is Ariane, and I'm the founder of Sukti. It was amazing pitching today, although it was very nerve-wracking. And I had a great experience getting very interesting questions from the panel of experts, especially the question asked by Hamad Al-Hajri. And so it was really great for me being able to rub shoulders with uh, such interesting people. وأخيراً وليس آخراً الشركة الثانية عشر في يوم عرض المشاريع. والتي يشاركنا فيها رائد الأعمال السيد رحاب شطة عرضه عبر فيديو مسجل عن شركة VOP وذلك لتعذر المشاركة المباشرة. Hi everyone, I'm Rehab, founder and CEO of Alternative Operation. VOP is an enterprise solution for telco, farming and banking that help our clients to solve recurrent problems related to operations. We've been in these uh, sectors for more than two years and we try to observe and analyze uh, the situation. Uh, first, in uh, telco, the gap between ERPs and uh, PNI system introduced delay in customer request and uh, limitation to control operational costs. Also, in uh, banking, the same gap is observed between ERPs but this time with the active ATM networks, which gives around 10% of unpaid agreement per year. And finally, in agriculture, as 95% uh, of uh, farms are not automated, we have a problem to define the labor size, the control water volume, which is related to global production performances and environment uh, protections. 
to solve these problems, we have introduced our uh, set of versatile algorithms. First, in Telco, we have demonstrated that we can bridge the gap and reduce the OPEX by 40% and transform the process to 100% real-time one. And the same situation is observed in uh, banking, but this time we have introduced our AI algorithms and we have transformed the customer request process to 100% uh, automated one. And finally, our uh, Sparta Rima solution can control water and fertilizer volume, increase the production by 20% and reduce the labor to 1 per 17 hectares. We believe that our uh, solutions uh, represent a real alternative to big player. Our tools are more affordable with client-focused approach based on our native technology. And depending on the tool and the client, we are offering not only base license subscription, but also flexible plans. So far, we uh, have um, two uh, paid services for one customer with a total revenue since May 2020 of $27,000. And we are negotiating three deals today for the next six months with set total value of $200,000. And for next 12 months, we estimate our uh, revenue growth to $600,000. Through these offers, we are targeting a big market, either locally or worldwide. And uh, we estimate this market to 300 million in Qatar and 500 billion globally. Uh, all these solutions aren't still possible thanks to our team turning around technology, science, marketing, development with the support of our technology partners. Uh, today we want to deploy real aggressive uh, global marketing action. We need to enhance our visibility, register our technology, reinforce our team. That's why we are asking for an investment amount of $110,000. If you want uh, to be part of this uh, digital transformation, uh, book a meeting with us and invest in the OP. Thank you. Thank you very much to Rehab Shatta on this award. And now we will go to the news of the news. I would like to relate this maybe to the previous uh, presentation, uh, which was Toil and Gas, where they were focusing on a certain component. And I think that made a lot of sense for me because you're focusing on a a skill set for a certain industry, for a certain problem. Uh, I felt this presentation was uh, not too focused as it was before. My recommendation to VOP is to uh, focus a little bit more and not go... Uh, uh, I'd like to add uh, more uh, uh, on, on uh, what he said is that Yes, he, he's doing a pilot project with uh, an operator, and uh, but what I see his strength is in with farms. He has uh, actually signed deals with seven farms, and he and farms are really not digitalized yet. And and uh, as I can see, there is success. He signed with seven farms, especially with the push of uh, uh, sustainability, food security. I think he has a good market. نشكر لجنة الخبراء على ملاحظاتهم ونصائحهم لشركة VOP. نتوجه في حاضنة قطر للأعمال بالشكر الجزيل للشركات الناشئة والنامية على هذه العروض العظيمة وعلى جهدهم وتعبهم خلال الفترة الماضية ونتمنى لهم النجاح في جذب المستثمرين وجمع رأس المال الذي يحتاجونه لتطوير شركاتهم وتوسيع أسواقهم ليصبحوا قصص النجاح التالية في قطر المتابعين الكرام لا يسعني في هذه اللحظة إلا أن أكون مسرورا لاختتام فعاليات يوم عرض المشاريع الافتراضي الثاني من حاضنة قطر للأعمال وأود تذكيركم بأنه سيكون بإمكانكم متابعة كافة العروض والمعلومات الكاملة عن الشركات وتنظيم اللقاءات مع مؤسسيها عبر الموقع الرسمي ليوم عرض المشاريع من خلال الرابط الظاهر على الشاشة نشكر لكم حضوركم أينما كنتم نشكر المستثمرين الملائكيين الباحثين عن استثمارات ذكية ونشكر أيضا لجنة الخبراء والشركاء لجهودهم في إنجاح هذا الحفل ونشكر رواد الأعمال الطموحين ونتمنى أن نراكم على المنصة في العام القادم هذا أنا محدثكم محمود المحمود من يوم عرض المشاريع في حاضنة قطر للأعمال السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته